the American Tap Dance Foundation serves to promote uh, tap dancing, preserve its heritage, and educate the public about the art of tap dance. Happy feet, I've got those happy feet. Give them a low down beat, and they begin dancing. I've got those ten little tapping toes, and when they hear it too, I can't control my dancing heels to save my soul. Weary blues can't get into my shoes because my shoes refuse to ever grow weary. I keep cheerful, on an earful of music sweet, cause I've got those half happy. Ba -da 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 -da. Tap culture is connected to everything. It's connected to music, dance, history, language, science, math, physical education. Everything you can imagine that people are involved in, tap dance is connected to it in some way. It's so rich and, and so challenging, really, to discuss so many things at the same time. Not just dance, but music, racism, sexism. It's a parallel to the American experience because it's an American art form. Any ordinary day at the American Tap Dance Foundation is a adventure. I would say organized chaos, uh, creativity, our people coming in to rehearse, great artists in the field come to practice and use our space. Students come in in the afternoon of all ages to learn about tap dance in our youth program. We have adult beginners who love tap coming in in the evening to study with our staff and all kinds of creative and administrative things going on all day. The American Tap Dance Foundation is creating performance opportunities for the tap dancers who are professionals now because many studios here in, in New York oppose having tap in their studios. They don't want people to scratch up their wooden floors. You know, it's like, don't dance on my dance floor. But, you know, in terms of ATDF, like, they really embrace the culture, they embrace the community, and they give a lot of tap dancers opportunities that wouldn't have them otherwise. Yes, the American Tap Dance Foundation has many community outreach programs ongoing, mainly with kids. Uh, when Gregory Hines died, we decided we, you know, we got to make sure that people remember who Gregory was. So our youth scholarship program is called the Gregory Hines Youth Scholarship Fund, and we offer probably about 60, 65 training scholarships to kids every year. Now they're different levels and they're for merit or need. And so people apply and um, it's hard to say no because um, what's one more kid in the room, right? If you have a pair of tap shoes on, you're in. ATDF is like a family and you really feel comfortable in the environment there. I do the Tap City program in the summer and people from Brazil come, people from China and Japan and Russia and Germany and they can't speak English very well, but we all get in a circle and jam, and it's really cool. Last summer, I finally got my passport, went to Vancouver, and this summer I'm going to Barcelona. TAP has really had an impact of my dreams, um, going to different places, seeing the world. 